Antonio Joey Williams, Gamecock Central. Uh, obviously, he played a lot of snaps last week. Um, Devontae out. You had a huge game. Uh, I guess what a lot of us would call a career game for you. Um, how does that speak to the strength and conditioning staff here, Carolina? Um, the strength and conditioning staff is going good. Fitz gets us into a lot of shape. I mean, he he runs us when we have to. He lets us rest when we need to. And tell me, after such a tremendous game, were you maybe a little surprised that you weren't honored by the SEC uh, for in its weekly performance? Most definitely, I felt like I deserved it, but I really don't get into all the politics. I just go out and play. And, Antonio, a couple, couple of questions. First of all, how'd you get the ball out of that guy's hands? It's like all of a sudden, and then how how are you going to build on what you did uh, Saturday for the rest of the season? Um, first of all, we were playing cover two. I did nothing more than just fill my gap, um, tackled the guy, I secured the tackle, then I stripped him. Once the guy, all the guys were holding him up and stripped him and made a big play. Uh, what, what how are you going to build on? Okay. Just watching film and trying to um, pick off some of the good, some of their key plays that they're that they that I know they're gonna run. So just just building and focusing week in and week out on that. With Devontae back, are you glad to have a spell? Look like you got a little winded there late in the game, or would you rather be out there every snap and they play Devontae somewhere else? I mean like any other athlete, man, I love to compete. I, I just want to be out there on the field. I mean, it, it's good to have guys back, but I want to be out there on the field. I forget my question, I'm sorry. Uh, Antonio, just with that uh, specialized spur uh, position, do you feel like you're kind of the best uh, range of athlete to play that, you know, can drop back in coverage or play up one more run? Yes, I think I'm a dynamic type athlete. I can do, I can rush, I can cover, tackle, I can do a lot of things. And it's, and it's just great for me in that position. Can you talk about uh, this weekend's game against uh, Georgia? I mean, they're kind of up against it a little bit. And certainly, this seems like this is the this would lay the foundation for everything your guys you guys are trying to do this weekend. And what are you guys talking about when it you know pertains to Georgia? I mean, Georgia's Georgia's Georgia. They're gonna they're gonna come in. They're gonna be ready. It's it's a conference game. They're they're gonna be hyped. Um, we're gonna be ready to. Got to be ready to play. I'm not, they run the pro style offense, we, which is a lot different from ECU because they were spread. But we just got to come prepared to play this game. Since you guys uh, struggled a little bit with East Carolina early, uh, is the team more determined to show the country that you are you are deserving of this high national ranking against Georgia? Yes, sir. We're going to be more. We're definitely going to be more focused. I think we. I don't know. I don't know what we were thinking going into ECU with the turnovers and stuff. We just gotta secure the ball and be just all around more focused. I uh, am telling you back here. Uh, you know, he, speaking of focus, it seems in the second half of the East Carolina game, your defense was just much more opportunistic, kind of gravitating to the ball. Do we expect to see that out of the defense uh, in the future games this season? Yeah, of course. Um, and ECU coach, at halftime coach, Johnson came in the locker room and told us basically we were being lackadaisical and everybody, was on, everybody wasn't running to the ball, so he just tried to get us set on guys running to the ball and we came out in the second half and did that. Antonio, is the Georgia game any more personal for you as a player than any of the other games on the schedule, you know, the rivalry games, Florida, Clemson? Um, all the games are the same to me. I mean, they the conference game count, counts a little bit more than the out of conference game. So, Antonio, you finished last season on a really good stretch of you know, good performances and games. It's kind of carried over the first game of this year. Do you ever stop and think about just how well you've been playing in these past seven or eight games? I do think about it, but 
really can't get caught up until you sort of got to move on week in and week out because it's different teams and when you get into all the hype, you're just getting the team one step above, one step ahead of you. Anything else? One back. Just talk about a guy like Aaron Murray who's been playing a lot of snaps in the SEC. What kind of challenges he presents to this defense and what kind of things you got to do to make sure you limit his deficiency? Well, he's 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 a great quarterback. I mean, he's pretty young still, but he's very mobile. Um, we have to stop him. We got to keep him contained. We have to stop him from getting out of pocket. Um, just He has to beat us with, with his arm. When you first heard Spur, do you have any idea, you know, how active a position you would you would play? I really didn't know what I was getting into because I started out at safety and just covering and coming down and tackling every once in a while. But at Spur, you just you either in the box or you out of the play. So I just try to do my best to just get around the ball at all times.